Bharat Nalini is a professor at a college in Bangalore. A PhD in history, she is a good teacher and an excellent wife. I have not met her for a long time. So one day, I decided to visit her. She was excited to see me. She was cooking a special meal for her only son, who had returned from school. While her son was preparing for the 12th standard exams, her husband Satish, an engineer in a multinational company, was away at work. So there was enough space and time for us to talk. I haven't seen you around at all, Nalini. What's your life? Nothing. I have been busy because Samir is in the 12th standard. Come on, Nalini. You are not appearing for the exam. What you can do is help him at home. But that does not mean cutting yourself off from the world. Nalini did not agree. She was tense and worried. Nalini, what is the problem? Have you finished with the construction of your house? Tatrish is looking after that. You were planning to buy a new vehicle. What happened? Yes, Satish is planning to buy a scooter rather than a car. I soon realized that all the decisions were Satish's. Nalini, don't you have any preferences? Satish is better than me in all things. He knows the outside world and has lots of contacts. So his decisions will always be correct. I was surprised by her answer. Usually, educated working women are more confident and independent and they like to make their own decisions. The next day, I was traveling to a village by bus. For a change, the bus was not crowded. A village woman, Yalama, got into the bus along with me. I knew her because whenever I was in her village, she would bring me fresh vegetables and refuse to accept money. Yalama was about 35, healthy and cheerful. Her venerated head was tied in a knot and a thick black feet manga sutra rested on her neck. She also wore heavy gold hair studs, a big nose ring and more than a dozen green glass bangles on each wrist. No cosmetics and no pretense. Her pleasant smile added radiance to her glowing reddish-brown complexion. Yalama and her husband Rutrappa owned a small garden in the village and that was their biggest asset. They grew and sold seasonal vegetables for a living. Amma, I have to rush back to my garden today. Why are you in such a hurry? Isn't your husband in the garden? Yes, but still I must go because I have to make an important decision today. I have to sow the seeds idle for the next three months. Surely your husband can do that? No, I have to make my own decision. Rudrapa is also very good and experienced, but I should also give my views because not all of seeds can be sown in the rainy season. I liked her confidence. Initially, when I gave my opinions, everyone used to laugh at me. I realized, however, that unless I became assertive, they would not give me any chance to make decisions. Without making decisions, I would not gain experience. So I started sowing vegetable seeds in one corner of the garden. Neither my mother-in-law nor my husband knew that place and I experimented. The first few times, they failed, but it didn't give up. Eventually, I learned which vegetables grew in which season. Today, they respect my ideas and ask me to decide. This year, I want to plant carrots and cauliflower. I'm sure that the yield will be good and fetch good money. Though uneducated and untrained, Yalama was so different from Nalini. 